What's going on, guys? It's your boy Spoon. I've got a really strange one for you. Uh, it was at one of my vendors uh, just a couple days ago, and he gave me a graphics card, and he said, hey, why don't you take this and see if you can figure out what's wrong with it? That's what I do, baby. So he goes back into his office. He comes back out, and he hands me this. This is what's known as the 12 gig NVIDIA GTX Titan. 12 gigs of VRAM. State of the art, beautiful card. The One of the best on the market that you can buy currently. Uh, just phenomenal piece. Uh, wonderful graphics card. You think that he was nuts. He's gonna hand me this. <clears throat> And he hands it to me, and I, I, I said to him, hey, w what's wrong with it? And he's like, oh, you know, well, uh, we just, you know, couldn't get it running, and there's something wrong with it, so why don't you take a look? And the first thing that I noticed is the ports. They don't match up to the te uh, GTX Titan. And he hands it to me, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, the, the serial number's good, the UPC's good, 12 gigs, it says it right here on the card. Serial numbers intact, uh, and uh, I took it home. I said, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's see what she does. Take it apart, remove the heat sink from it, and there's zero thermal paste on it. I mean zero. Zilch. Nada. Not even a drop of thermal compound. So I said, oh, easy fix. Spoonie's got this. Drop a little thermal compound on there. Use the real nice, you know, $10 uh, freaking tube this big of thermal compound. And uh, I didn't use the cheap stuff from China on this one. This is too expensive to risk it. And I pop it in, and I can't get it to run the, the, the Titan driver. So this is where it all goes wrong. So I do auto detect through NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And guess what it pulls up? It's a 970. An NVIDIA EVGA GTX 970. Disguised as a Titan. So this is what happened. This is what I can only assume happened. Is that somebody went in to one of the retail stores or online and they bought a you know, what is this, an $800, $1,000 card, took it home, took the heatsink off the Titan, and put it on their old 970, and returned it to the store, saying, oh, it doesn't work. I would have never thought of that. In a thousand years, I would have never thought to do something like that, because I'm not a criminal, and I'm not a crook, and I'm not a piece of shit. But apparently, somebody did. They even went so far as to put the correct serial number. I don't think that's going to zoom so you can actually see it. But that is the actual serial number in the right spot from the Titan. And this is a 970. <laughs> it still works. I mean, I run it. I actually had to take it out of my machine so I could show you guys. But yes, this will be forever known in my heart and in my soul until they put me in the ground as the first and only 970 GTX Titan. Powered by Spoon. Keep your head up. Keep pounding them keyboards. Ah! Tarasenko!